It's been more than uh, two weeks. I had a visitor and I needed 20 minutes of alone time to finish this episode because I had almost all the footage done, um, but they would not leave me alone. So uh, we're doing this uh, super late. I apologize. We're doing this cul-de-sac and today I am proud to announce that we finished um, a gigantic area and we'll moving will be moving on to a new area after this episode. Yes, I am proud of me too. Thank you very much. Um, yes, it's very cute. I have some questions that I need feedback on because remember a few episodes where I ranted about how I don't like the lights and the props that come with the streets. Um, so I took care of those, but there were some issues and I didn't take care of all the lights because I'm wondering where should I add street lights and where I shouldn't because I might have made a mistake. I might have put on lights for every like individual building and area, but that kind of means that I didn't really think through where I want to have street lights placed so I would need feedback on that uh touching on what we're doing we are as I said finishing this fucking area um put some cute stores on this corner um uh sidewalk yes a lot of detailing this took a lot of work and a lot of time uh, I think I said this before, what is most time consuming is like figuring out the concepts, figuring out like what building fits here and how do I merge it in and how does that make sense and all of that stuff. So uh, this is a really cute area that I saw. Oh yeah, Geert, Gert, I don't know how to say your name, but it's a really nice person. They comment on my videos and the school is named after them. And uh, if you don't like it, then uh, I'm sorry, because that's the name of the school. And, and that's just how it is. <laughs> I will show more of that when we do the live play. But uh, yeah, they got a school named after them because I like them and they make me want to keep doing videos. So there you go. Um, that was the surprise, by the way, that I told you that was happening. Um, yeah. Moving on from whatever that was, um, cute house, I think it's very cute, it's got a lot of bicycles, not really sure why, but it is what it is, sometimes I just need details to put in, and sometimes bicycles are it, and uh, this is more uh, me being insane and putting individual rocks everywhere, I did not kick that habit, nor do I think I will. I, I think it adds so much. I just can't stop myself. Um, so yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. Um, yeah. So this cul-de-sac got a bit more of a like fancy buildings kind of thing. I'm not really sure because I told you guys this this like we're moving into like the denser city. And this area is like kind of newer and kind of fancier, but it's still not like, you know, it's not rich people fancy. I don't know. Uh, what? I guess it depends on how we define rich. This doesn't matter. So uh, this is a factory expansion that I put in just because I had space I needed filled. I was so happy that I could find a wall that matched the original game texture. So it looks nice. And I'm proud of what I managed to accomplish with how difficult this game to play it. Like, how difficult it is to do what I do with this game. It's like I spend a lot of time looking for assets. Um, yeah, this garden is fancy, right? Because it has palm trees. You know, you know the guy who has palm trees in, in their... Okay, so if you're from a place where palm trees are native... You might be like, that's not fancy. But if you're not, then you know it's fancy, right? So that's that's what we're doing. Um, I ended up taking the fancy light 
fixture thingy majiggy. It's gone. Uh, I ended up putting this water tower here, which I have always planned on and I like a lot. Um, I, I love that water tower. It's very cute, very sweet, very, very... I had another asset for a water tower, but it kind of looked like a funnel. And it was confusing me, and I wasn't sure that that's how water towers looked like. So I went with this one, and this one is good enough. So there you go. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? What I was talking, what was I talking about? Yeah, we talked about the palm trees. I put a guy and two children playing on the street with a little soccer ball. I love that type of detail. It's because no cars are going to be driving there. So at least there's something on that gigantic cul-de-sac. Um, finishing the area with these lamps that I put on the lower levels of this um, staircase too. I am very happy the staircase is functional. And uh, yeah, we're, we're sealing up that, that area that have not been um, like finished for like three episodes, two? I, how many episodes? I two, two because this is the fourth. I'm sorry. Anyway, oh yeah, this construction building needs a sign at the entrance that says like only workers allowed or some shit like that. But uh, I I keep complaining about having a lot of assets, so I have not found it yet. I will put it there when I find it. Uh, yes. You saw what I put instead of the um, fancy light fixtures. I just put two ads in and they're fine. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, C'est la vie. Uh, buildings. I put these buildings here like in episode two. Um, and I've been waiting a very long time. You didn't understand. Like every episode takes like what? 20 minutes. Of, uh, 20 minutes. 20 hours of me working on it. So it's been like two months since I put these buildings down. I waited a long time to like make them. I, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't two months. I don't have a good perception of time. My point is these buildings, I placed them a long time ago and I finally got to like detail them. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know how to detail these. Like, I don't know how to make this look good. And then I was lost and sad for a while but I managed to get over that anyway yes this is the area you see this tennis court it's not fucking staying um but there will be the soccer field and it is staying so there you go um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Those buildings are behind these buildings, the, the residential buildings, and they're sitting on the main road. You'll see them because we'll detail them a lot later. But right now we're working on the soccer field. Is it a field if it's like fenced in? Don't worry about it. It's not important. Uh, we're working on these thingy. Um, I was agonizing over the placement of these benches, and then I realized I spent so too much time agonizing over the placement of the benches, and I was just like, live, live, girl, live your best life, and then I just let it go, like Elsa. Um, coffee, Greg's, I don't know, do you have Greg's? We don't, I, I think we do, I don't know. Point being... I have a really cool asset that allows me to, um, it's from Mad Hatter and it lets you, these are bull arts, um, or I use them as bull arts. Nope. I left it as a fence. Never mind. I lied. It happens all the time. So Mad Hatter, cool asset. That's how I managed to write the name of the school. Um, you can go into the mod and like write anything you want and then it just like lets you have it in the game so you can make custom things and write them so uh you'll see it later because this building has a greg's but it's also a much bigger building as you can see and it's actually going to be like um, a caretaking facility 
Um, you're going to see it soon when I put the sign on. So now these are the buildings that are on the main street that I mentioned. Um, you can see on the left, that's the, the Greg's building. See, you, you see the umbrellas and shit. Um, don't worry about the lights. They are all going away. They were very problematic. And see, I'm making them go away. See, see, see my trick of making it go away? Yeah, I made it go away. Anyway, um, so, yeah, and that's the sign. See, and it's so pretty. It's assisted living. I made another custom bus station because I told you how I feel about that. When I say custom, I just mean I put one that looks nice and I put one that actually works so they'll stand next to the one that looks nice. Um, it's not actually custom. Maybe we should make a custom one. I don't know. What do you think? This building will be a bank. And I looked across all of my assets and I really wish like I had a better um, sign for it, but I can't spend any more time thinking about it because my brain will explode. Um, not this building, this is a residential, right? It's pretty obvious by the balconies and stuff, but, but you'll, you'll see what, yes, don't worry about it. I am not sure who left those, um, that huge, like, pallet with bottles outside in the sun, but, uh, that is not my problem. That is that factory's problem, and somebody needs to get fired. Um, or, or maybe they shouldn't get fired. They should be explained why that was a bad idea. We don't need to jump straight away to firing people. Uh, we, we can find, we can give people chances. See? NetWest? I don't, I don't know what that is, but it, it was in my bank tab. So we went with that. I made, um, like a shortcut for pedestrians so they can cut from like the, um, the cul-de-sac to this, um, it's not the main road, but it's not a small road either. It's the road that can that goes up to the bus and train stations um, and connects the the downstairs main road. I know I'm confusing. You'll you'll you remember the layout, I think. And if not, then I'll just show it to you. Um, in the live play, I have edited in the name that I want for this, um, like garden shop how do you call it like i don't yes they sell plants and plant related stuff hence all the bags so we'll put the sign on uh in the live play remind me even though we can't i will remember uh yeah <laughs> this gate is cute. I like it. It does not fit, but we'll pretend that it does because I like it. We're going to put the sign on these green thingies. Um, yeah, we are almost done. I'm very proud of the shortcut from the cul-de-sac to the street. It's kind of similar to the shortcut that we made from the... We made a connection between the cul-de-sac and the outskirts area to another road. And this is me trying to get rid of this light, and it wouldn't work. So I was like, well, what do I do? And then I found this thing, which is a sprout, a spout, apparently. Um, it doesn't look good, but if you are careful enough, it does cover the light. So I decided um, whenever there's a light I can't get rid of, I will put a spout on it, and I will hang ads on it um do you like that i mean either but that was literally the best thing i could find like i tried other things as you can see these are the spouts and i put the ads on them i even put like a back to them see now it disappeared 
but now you can see it. Now it disappeared. Now you can see it. Um, yeah, I don't love it, but I worked many, many hours on trying to figure out a solution. I even tried building like this, um, stairs and something to cross the road and it was just nothing looked good. So I, I almost rage quit the game and deleted everything. Um, so I placed these light fixtures all across this road because it's an important road. So I think it should, it should have light, right? Uh, ignore this. This is clearly not meant to be here. It's just for generating people. So they'll walk around so I can see that they're walking where I want them to. Um, and I'll show you downstairs for a second. By the way, Geert, Gert, Geert. There's your school. Very cute. Anyway. So... Here I didn't put lights yet, but here I believe I did. This one I put in, and then yeah, here's the light, and I have decided. So I put these benches in and these um like bins. The problem is that I'm pretty sure the school has these red ones, um, which kind of bothers me, but I didn't want to put the green ones in because I don't like them. So we'll discuss and you tell me if you hate this and then we'll change. We might have to change the benches. So see, I place them. Um, and that's pretty much, that's the bank situation. I wanted a bank sign over here, but that, that is not what happened. Um, yeah. Let's let's put the sign on, shall we? Assets, Mad Hatter, text, text, text. Is it this? No, this is decals. Sign writer. And I wanted Jack's flowers. Okay. Um. No, maybe not tiny. And maybe not that height. Let's see how it looks on the sign. Okay. But it's yellow and clear, so it would be yellow. I mean, I guess that's good. What happens if I slightly expand the width? That's not good. Okay. Okay, then. Thanks for letting me know. Um... Usually you need to go to the side like this, but then I can't see if it's centered. So we're going to do it like this and hope for the best. Jack's flowers. Oop. Hey lady, how does it look from where you stand? Okay. I actually kind of <laughs> dig whatever is happening there, like with the, um, <laughs> with the squares. I don't know. I think it looks cute. You put it on both signs, and that is wonderful. Uh, this is the road I meant that the shortcut goes from here, you know? This is the shortcut. It makes it super easy to cross. And um, the reason why I was so happy, this is where we need that entry sign. But the reason why I was so excited, because this whole area is filled now. So, options are as follows. Oh, yeah. Before that, I need advice. So this road currently does not have street lighting on it. Neither does this one and neither does this one. This one will, but I will do it once I am done with this side. So my question is, okay, I'll show you my dilemma. For example, I have this, sign, uh, this light here and this light here. 
So where exactly do I put a like a street lamp here? I could. The problem is that the pedestrians are like walking on this tiny sideway, so they're gonna walk through it. So I guess it's like a preference thing. I would like some feedback on that. Oh, I need to cover this. I will. I will make sure that's covered. But yeah, so like same here. Like there's this light, and then there's this light, and then there's another light here. So where? And then there's. I put this light here, but I don't feel like it's enough. I don't know. I need some feedback. This one has lights. Because it's a big important one. Here are the benches that we mentioned. And I put some here too. I also fixed this. Haha. Haha. Ha ha. I told you I will. I told you. Um, and of course this one does as well. Well, just the left side. The right side doesn't have people on it yet. So that's where we're at currently. So what I was thinking is that we can either work on this side now and build this industrial area. We can go somewhere over here and build some wacky doodle do like center city with skyscrapers and the likes. We can go back here and build some more outskirts. We can go here and maybe expand this way. The, the possibilities are endless. Um, and I would probably decide before anyone will comment on it, but, but, you know, I still would appreciate the feedback. So, thank you. I am proud and happy to be done with this area, because it was a lot. Oh yeah, we can also, like, build the other side of the train station. We can do that too. Anyway... Have a good day. Bye-bye.